Hello, everyone. Are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some more Master Duel. Today, I wanted to review the, um, uh, what is it called? The replays? But not the ones that are on here, unfortunately, because these <laughs> can't be saved. I ran out of space for them. But I have ones on my PC that I saved specifically for uh, this video here. So, we're gonna go to them now, and I'm gonna talk over them, and yeah, we'll watch them. So that's gonna be today's video. I hope you like it. It's gonna be with frogs, because pretty soon I'm going to <laughs> stop. Um, I basically, my current plan for Master Duel is to always have one deck during the season, and then during the next season, I will um, play with a new deck for the entirety of it. So. I think with the current rate of my frogs, I can get them to plat 5. I'm working on a deck that will maybe work a little bit better in the platinum sense. In gold, they're fantastic, um, but I built the deck too cheap for it to work in platinum, <laughs> and it needs a lot more in order to kind of thrive and survive in that environment. But anyway, let's look at these replays. So, starting 1, 2, 3, now. Here's this first one. Mm, what was it against this deck? It was a Cyber Dragon deck. Oh god, I think I hate fighting Cyber Dragons so much. Cyber Dragons are maybe the thing I hate fighting the most in Master Duel. It's not that they're like broken, it's just that Zen loves Cyber Dragons, so I have bad, bad um, times thinking about thinking about them in general. Um, So let me see what this guy's going. I think this hand started off pretty bad. Thankfully for me, I got lucky in that I had Nibiru. So uh, Nibiru against Cyber Dragons is basically like um, you almost kind of win at that point. You just have to be able to use them at the right point, which is right when um, what's the word I'm looking for? You want to use it right when oh, it's even funnier. All the stuff I'm doing. <laughs> Um, yeah, you have to use it at the right place if you want to nip your Cyber Dragon, because if you do it too early, then they can still summon like 27,000 monsters. Yeah, this is very bad for me, by the way. I have no cards in my hand. It looks pretty rough. I draw one card. I save myself from defeat. Flip them face down. <laughs> it's a shame that that flip face down effect does not work on Link monsters, so those effects aren't amazing, but it's fine. I wonder, oh god, can I please draw something? I did. Got super lucky, I try and bait out the Ash Blossom in case he has it. Now to be fair, most people would have Ash Blossom the pot, so maybe that wasn't the smartest. <laughs> I should have known, totally awesome, there he is. And now at this point, I think I've basically won. Because he can't stop me, at all. Yep. I think this is it, I think it's GG. I think it's after I do this. <laughs> it's when it's GG. Because I take Monster Reborn, at this point he's like, oh, I can't do anything. Give up, I use it, summon the Nibiru, and that's basically all she wrote. I can't remember if I actually beat them or if they just scoop. Yeah, they scoop. <laughs> so there's no reason for that. Next match! Alright, here, who we got here? It's Dangers, or something like that. I don't remember this specific deck. I think it, this was the danger deck, which I actually wanted to make a danger deck for a while because I love um, cryptids. I really like that the Yu-Gi-Oh at some point made a cryptid based deck, which is really cool. If you don't know what a cryptid is, they're basically like American, North American mythology type of creatures that like Jackal, Bigfoot, um, Nessie, even though I think Nessie is technically Wait, why is Nessie considered a cryptid? Actually, let me look up the definition of cryptid real quick. Because now I'm co-opting it into America. I know a lot of American monsters are cryptids. Such as the... I don't want that... Cryptid. Meaning... An animal such as Sasquatch or the Loch Ness Monster has been claimed to exist but never proven to exist contrary to popular belief. So it just so happens to be a lot of American monsters are cryptids. The Mothman... The Jersey Devil, things like that. Uh, now this guy's been doing a lot of stuff, and I basically just, as soon as I do this to Skull Dread, it's basically GG. Because he was expecting to draw a lot more cards. To be fair, he still has a lot of fucking cards. Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, the I think there's actually a deck where you basically kind of deck yourself out with dangers and you can win that way. That's pretty crazy though. Man, I don't even remember how I beat this guy. If I do beat them, actually. The Chupacabra. The Chupacabra is this thing. I was so confused about what to do against him. This is like, I'm pretty sure that means all my effects are gone and I can't do shit. And he's like, yes, that's exactly what it means. But then I was like, oh, doesn't work on Link monsters. So here come the Wombo combos. Get rid of him. Ronin toted, my boy, comes back. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that this guy is not giving up at this point. I think he gives up right here. Yeah, this is where he throws up the GG. Cool deck, but unfortunately, just not enough to stop me. That's right, even because of his card, his draw phase will skip the next fight. Oh, this was a long one. This was a really long one. I don't remember what this deck is, but I remember that it's long as hell. Was it Dragon Maids? No, I don't think it was Dragon Maids. It was Dragon Maids. Oh man, Dragon Maids. I really kind of want to make Dragon Maids, because they seem like fun, and they're a bunch of women that turn into dragons. Now, I'm pretty sure this guy's going to immediately call by the grave. This fucking move happens to me so many times. I'm so annoyed by it. <laughs> Happens so many times. And I think at this point I'm like, alright, I'm gonna take your monster. Banish both. They're gone. Yeah, I think the card advantage if I don't if I let them go too far. Like even Even this person knows like if I built an advantage and got totally awesome on the board, I could have won. Which is why they decided to stop my ability to summon him, and yeah, they're doing their damnedest. I'm trying to remember that. What I was trying to do here was that if I destroyed my monsters, he couldn't be removed, which was the right play. I saved my Ronin Toten. I Ash Blossom that thing. All by the grave. He did that. <laughs> I wish he did that to me twice, didn't he? I might be confusing with the other guy. I hate it. I hate getting, get, getting hit by Call by the Grave. It's the most annoying thing in the world. It's more annoying than what I'm doing, which is removing his things. This was really an insane game. It was basically a non-stop game of removal, 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 removal. <laughs> like, you banish my monsters, I banish your monsters. I take what's mine. But I think this one I actually key, and then he gives me the... yeah. Then I decide to go like, hey, put him face down. I'm not, you're not getting your dragon maiden. I can't remember if this guy had... No, he didn't. I don't understand why he didn't run the XYZ. I was like, okay, you get to draw a card. Maxi is pretty dangerous, but I think I only want to special summon one other monster, so I'll give him two, and it'll be worth it. Because at the end of this, I think I'll have Zeus. Yeah, I think that was my thinking on this, is that... Downard and then Zeus. Yeah. Risky move, though, because I didn't have anything to protect Zeus with. So I could have easily backfired. And now I'm at a disadvantage, funny enough. I have a Zeus on the field, but I'm at a huge disadvantage. Yeah, Dragon Mage just gets so much card advantage, it's crazy. Especially, it's just really insane how much card advantage that they have. And at this point I decided to say, hey Zeus, and then he's like, I'm gonna negate you, and I'm like, I'm fucking Zeus. Leave. I think. Yeah, it's like, I fucking forget that <laughs> the trap monster is immune to effects. Oh, there's our toad. He removes me from the game, but it's fine because I can still summon my toad. He forgot that I'm also playing the trap game. And I think finally, this many turns in, I'm finally able to summon totally awesome. Destroyed. And. And at this point, no, that's right, I didn't have anything that could actually stop it. So I decided to say screw it and take his monster. That's how rough it is when you play Totally Awesome this many turns in. I'm like, I already had everything gone. It's all gone, I don't have anything more. There's nothing else I could play. All I have are these weak ass monsters. Yeah, I play Nightmare Phoenix because I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna see if I can win with Decode Talker and. 
hope to kill him before he draws anything. I have Solemn, so I feel pretty confident. I Solemn that. At this point, it's GG. He just takes the loss. I was pretty afraid, though, on that last turn. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It was pretty scary. And this is the final game, which was against an anti-meta deck. What I found was really funny. Basically stop me from special summoning and summoning monsters that are... Yeah, the fossil stops me from summoning more monsters and... He, this was weird, seeing X-Saber with the Earth Equip Guard. Uh, not to say it was a bad move or anything, because I think I understood where he was going, but I was like, out of all the equip cards, maybe it's just for the cheap. This move I also didn't understand why he didn't sacrifice the dino. It was getting removed. I felt like that was kind of a misplay, but... What can you do in that point? Because if he had kept that statue, I think it would have would have had a lot more trouble going forward. Or at the very least, I would have had to use some of my trap guards. And this is where you'll very rarely see in the deck, which is... Um, the Palamiscius actually gets to see. I think over time I got to use these dudes a little bit more and actually really like them. I usually go for the Toads, but over them, but they are insanely good with what they do. Yeah, look at that. Now I think he actually uses Dark Hole Totally did see that shit coming. Did you know that Dark Hole had an animation? Because I did it up until this exact moment. Then, yeah, I think I take his monster. But then he uses a side effect for some reason. I don't fully understand why he wanted to do it that way, but more power to him, I suppose. Let's me draw three cards. I give him 6,000 life points. Really, in general, like 6,000 life points with three cards, it's too much advantage. There's just no defeating it. So I just completely whoop him at this point. It's a complete stomp <laughs> from this point over. The, the, the game is basically over. It was over the second he let me draw three cards, but just to be sure, totally awesome on the board. Board presence. A wing in the dragon is something I've only ever used once, and the person, when they got hit by it, <laughs> immediately scooped. Because he's like, ah, well, I lost. I actually was very surprised. Most people don't let Nexus Go Talker get this far, but he let it go, so that's it for the replays I wanted to share. And I can get these uh, replays off of my computer because they're taking up a lot of gig space. <laughs> Till next time, everyone. Thank you very much for watching it. I love Toads. It's been a fun season looking after them. Um, if there's anything I would say about running them is that I feel like I now understand what needs to be added to the deck a little bit more. I think my main problem is that the deck has no response to a lot of stuff. Like Ash Blossom, like I should be running more Call to the Graves, Called by the Graves, to stop Ash Blossom. And Mexi isn't really an issue, but Ash Blossom actually is a huge issue because if they Ash Blossom <laughs> swap Toad, it's kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Um, so having some actual outs on some cards, in general, also Called by the Graves, pretty good to stop Eldic and El Eldritch or other stuff like that. But I will work on it. And until next time. Uh, you'll see it return at a later date, but um, for now, I think the next deck, deck, next deck I'm working on is Pendulum Magicians, and I've been playing with that a little bit and uh, still learning some of the combos, <laughs> aka the big combo, which is <laughs> the thing that lets me set up my first turn kill. <laughs> but it still needs a lot of practice, so till next time, everyone, and that will be when the actual season starts, you'll see it a little bit more, so... I'm going to keep playing with the Toads till the season's done, which is, I think, in four more days. So until next time, everyone, you have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.